as someone who's been evangelizing out on the streets for about 10 years now, I'm frequently asked this question when it comes to uh, open air preaching and the amplification that I use while I'm out on the streets. And so in this video, I want to talk about some different amplifying devices that I use when I go out to open air preach out on the streets. When we go out on the streets to evangelize and we are proclaiming the gospel in the open air, the one thing that we want to make sure happens is that our voice is being heard. Now, there's often places that you can go to where you don't need amplification devices at all. I know there's a local college here that when I go out to proclaim the gospel on this college campus, the acoustics naturally in this environment are amazing that you really don't even need amplification. Well, some guys don't, uh, but there may be uh, others who may be soft-spoken and, and amplification does help. It helps to maintain your voice. It helps so that you're not lifting it up so much uh, and maybe blowing out your voice box. But amplification is a great tool for evangelizing in the open air. And there are different types of amplification devices that you can find. Uh, and I'm going to give you a few of them that I use personally so I know uh, the quality of these types of devices uh, so that you would have some idea of some amplifiers that may be helpful or useful to you in the environment in which you are seeking to open air. Now this here is the half mile hailer from Amplivox. This is my go-to voice amplifier for street preaching in areas where I know that there's going to be a large crowd. When, when there's going to be a large crowd at like a sporting event, um, pride event, somewhere where I know that we're going to be stationed permanently, we're going to set up and we're not planning on moving. Uh, this is the device I prefer to use uh, because this is 25 watts and this thing carries. This thing really does uh, take your voice pretty far and can be heard. Now, when there's other uh, music or things going on, you will have competing factors that may uh, potentially hinder the the sound from getting to the ears of those you're trying to reach. Uh, but the hailer for my experience or from my experience has been very, very beneficial. Uh, I've preached from these uh, hailers at Kentucky Derby where you have 160,000 plus people that are in attendance um, coming through and going through the gates, these are definitely, they're durable and uh, they are definitely very useful. They're not unbreakable, uh, but they are very durable. Um, and so I personally have used this for many, many years. And like I said, in those types of events where there's a large crowd and we're setting up a station uh, to proclaim the gospel from and, and not planning on moving, uh, that is definitely my go-to. I also, it comes with the, the, a battery pack, and I uh, did drop one of them and break it, and so I reached out to Amplifox, and they were kind enough to send me another battery pack, but I also ordered a second one. Okay, I ordered a second one so that when we're out on the streets, as soon as, uh, depending on how long we're out there preaching, these things will last. Uh, I can take this battery pack and probably use it for for a month or maybe even longer, depending on how, how often I'm using this. But if we're going for eight hours preaching, then I definitely have the second pack so that when this one starts dying, I can just swap it out real quick and then put some new batteries in the other one for the backup for, for uh, another date. But this is one of, like I said, my go-to. And so I want to look at a few things concerning this, just to give you guys some idea 
of the prices because these aren't cheap if you buy them brand new. When you look at this Amplivox, um, this uh, one here, this half mile hailer from Amplifox is, uh, let me see here, it, it is very expensive, $803 for the S610A half mile hailer. And now if you go wireless, the S6 or SW610A wireless one, it's $1,200. So very, very expensive. But again, the, the quality of these, this is, I think I said 25 watts. I was wrong. It's a 50 watt um, amplifier. And so you're, you're really going to get a loud speaker system. Uh, and it does carry. And, and we, have, we have competed at times with pride event music and things that are going on. And people still hear the speaker as we're proclaiming the gospel. And so I think if you have the money and you want to invest in one like this and you're going to be stationary in an area, because it can be heavy. I mean, it comes with a strap, comes with a bag. Uh, you can move around with these things. I don't have the batteries in it right now, so it's not as heavy but with the battery pack. And it is, it's a little heavier. Um, and you're, you're going to want to carry that around. And I also have a, uh, a, a tripod that this sits on so we can elevate it or also, depending on the crowds, I, I don't mind putting this underneath the stand maybe that we're standing on. And so this way, it's, it's going off of the ground. And when it's on a tripod, it's up in the air. And if people are walking by, it's right in their ear. And so we, we try to consider those things as we are out evangelizing. But I want to tell you, while this is expensive, because it is, if you buy it brand new, this is an expensive piece of equipment. But there are other places you can go where you can find it much, much cheaper. If, if you go and look on eBay, you can see here, here's one on eBay for $179. Uh, here's another one for $573. You can go on Craigslist. You can go on Marketplace on, on maybe Facebook and, and search for these items. And you may find a used one cheaper. I know I have a friend who had uh, recently had two of them for sale that he, he sold to another friend of ours. But they were much cheaper than buying these brand new for $800 to $1,200. So you can definitely find them cheaper if you go to some of these sites and you look for them. You look for other street preachers who may be either no longer using that device, uh, maybe come into a different device that they prefer, um, that they've used. Whatever the case may be, they may have one for sale, uh, and you may be able to find one for a, a cheaper, uh, better deal than going and buying it brand new. But if you do, I, I do believe that for the money and, and the amount of preaching that you can do, if you plan on doing a lot of street preaching, uh, these are definitely uh, a very useful speaker. Uh, and so I want to just encourage you, if this is the, the, what you're going to do, go to the sporting events, go to these big places where you're going to be stationary, this is a, a really good one to do that with. Now, the next speaker system that I want to speak about is this here. You see how easy it was for me to just lift this up here. This is the Acre 38. And this voice booster here is my absolute favorite amplifier for street preaching. Why? Because it's small, it's light, it's 25 watts, so it definitely um, has some sound to it. It's not going to compete with the Acre. I mean, not the Acre, I'm sorry, the, the Haler. Um, but this is my go-to. I keep this in my bag when I'm out on the streets. If we're planning on moving from one point to another point, maybe the crowd's dying down here. We want to move over to another area where there's a large crowd, a gathering or an event going on, or there's just a lot of people in another area. It's very easy. You don't have to break down equipment and get it all packed up and move over to another location. This, I mean, you just walk with this. Uh, it, it's so easy to carry this here. Uh, and again, this is a very, very good voice amplifier. One I definitely recommend um, if you're going to do street preaching. Uh, that is a go-to uh, one for sure. When I look at online here, looking at these, if you go to Voice Booster, itself the company that makes these 
again, this is going to run you about $96 brand new, uh, $96 brand new, but again, you can find them cheaper. This one I did pay cheaper for. This is my second one that I've had of this. Uh, the first one, I think I paid maybe 70, 70 to $80 for it. Um, and, uh, I gave it to another friend of mine who does street preaching as well, who did not have one. But when I picked this one up and I also had the hailer, uh, and I have some other speaker systems uh, that I won't cover here, but just some other ones that I picked up, I didn't feel the need to have two of these. Plus my friend didn't have one and I wanted to, uh, uh kind of bless him to be able to have something for where they were preaching. Uh, but this here, this one, I think I paid $60 for, or around that price range. And I'll show you, uh, when you look on eBay, you see here, here's some on eBay, $55 here, $70, $56. They even have some different colors. They got red there. Um, $73, a hundred. So you're going to be able to find some of these at different prices. Uh, and, uh, again, this is a very good speaker system. One I completely 100% recommend if you're going to do street preaching. I've preached with guys who have other boxes. I actually used to have the voice booster R MR 2200. It was a 16 watt and I, I didn't really care for it too much. That's another one I ended up giving away to someone who didn't have a voice amplifier. Again, it's still use. Or it's still useful. Uh, it still worked. It just wasn't as clear. Um, and it was, you know, you put it around your neck and it's kind of one directional. This is one directional too, but it, it really carries that 25 Watts goes out. Um, and I've used it and reached large crowds with this. Uh, we w we've used this at, um, uh, the Cavs game years ago when the Cavs were in the playoffs and going to the championship with LeBron. Uh, I used this out there, uh, and it worked well, uh, in that crowd as people were coming from, uh, they're parking, parking lots of parking their cars and heading over to the, to the arena there to watch the Cavs play. And so this is a good one. The voice booster MR AK 38, uh, one I definitely encourage you, but there are some other ones here that you can look at if you go to voice booster. And again, many of these you can find on eBay or other sites that would be cheaper, but you have, uh, others here, um, that this is a 10 watt, a 12 watt, 20 or you're not going to see that one there. Okay. Uh, let's see here. This one here was the 12 watt and a 10 watt. Uh, but again, you can find them depending on what you're going to be doing. Uh, you can find ones cheaper, but I definitely recommend the AK 38 best amplifying system that I have. It's light. It's easy to, to transport, very portable. Uh, and so I, want to say like if you're going to do street preaching uh this right here this one this is the go to this is also um I use a wire mic with this one I have a wire mic so the wire plugs in turn it on and you're good to go but this one also the one that I bought it came already wireless so I have a wireless headset that I can connect to it I don't use it as much because you really need to keep that one downside, I guess, is really for the wireless, make sure that it's charged, fully charged. And um, you wouldn't be able to go as long uh, if the battery starts dying and you don't have a way to to recharge that while you're out on the streets. So the wireless or the wire, you don't have to worry about recharging it. You plug it in, you're good to go. The only negative side on that is the wire is kind of short, so uh, it can get sn snagged on uh, something easily. But um, this is definitely the best amplifier that I have. So those are just a few uh, that you can look at, that you can get started. Again, there's others that you can find. I'll give you one more that I've, I've used. I don't own, but I have used this one uh, because a friend of mine uh, went to do some ministry with them and they had it. It is this um, here, this voice amplifier. It's 18 watts. I thought the sound on this one was really good. Uh, again, I don't think it competes with my acre here, but I thought the sound was really, really good. Uh, and here on Amazon, looking at it, it's $59. But like I said, if you go to eBay, there's a used one. And if you're okay with buying used equipment, you want to make sure the sellers are good and, and that uh, you're not getting somebody who has a low rating. 
But if you find somebody that's got a good uh, rating, they, they are, they're credible. Um, like this person here has 94.7% positive uh, in their selling. Um, so they're not selling, not selling bad equipment or bad items. Uh, but this here, you can find it. That's $23, um, half the price of buying one brand new. And so again, you just have to do some shopping, do some looking, and, and you're going to find yourself some good voice amplifiers, some equipment to do some preaching in the open air. That'll just be uh, beneficial to you uh, to allow you to make sure that what you're preaching is heard by those passing by and, uh, and you don't have to blow out your, your voice by doing it. You can speak through one of these amplification devices uh, and, and really proclaim the gospel that way. So I hope this has been helpful to you. I want to encourage you to get out there, share the gospel. Uh, if you do find some amplification devices, I would love to hear, even if you get a different one than the ones that I've kind of covered in this video that you think are really good and work well, please leave that below in the comment section. Uh, because again, there may be a, come a time where I need to find another amplifying device. And if you've got one that you think works really well, I would love to hear, hear that from you. Uh, and it may be one that I try in the future. So uh, until then, God bless. And I hope this was helpful.